What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr Woz and in today's video I'll be testing another money maker from the OSRS wiki and this time it's filling jugs with water. Now I'm going to go through as many of these money makers as I can and I'll try and make as much profit as possible and I'll switch things up depending on what you guys want me to do in the comment section below. Now before I get into this method, let's see if we can smash 40 likes on this video, I know you guys can do it. And as most of you guys know, I want to do a 100 mil giveaway when I eventually hit 3,000 subscribers. And all you have to do to enter is like the video, comment with your RSN and subscribe to my channel. And I'll pick an email at random and one of you lucky people will be 100 mil richer. Now, Filling Jugs With Water was released on the 4th of January 2001. And this is an underrated money maker as you can make some fast GP with no effort whatsoever, spending very little GP in supplies. Now, according to the OSRS wiki, you can make around 72.8k GP profit per hour, which is really, really good. Now, I know it's not a lot of GP, but this is a great money maker for someone who needs fast GP and for people who are new at the game. The wiki also mentions that you need around 2,800 jugs, which only costs 8.4k, which is very easy to obtain for new players. Now, before I jump into the requirements, I'm going to show you where I'm doing this method. So, as you can see, I'm in Falador West Bank, and just north of the bank, there is a water pump to fill the jugs with water. There is another method you could do this and I find it a little bit slower and that is using a water pump just outside the Grand Exchange and then you can bank at the Grand Exchange once you've filled up a full inventory. Now there is actually no requirements when doing this method but you will need GP as I mentioned before and you only need to spend 8.4k. Now what I like about this method is you could do this on a fresh account as 8.4k is really easy to obtain. So for example you can kill cows and sell the hides in the Grand Exchange and you only need two inventories worth to make 8.4k. Another reason why I like this method is because it's AFK and it takes around 30 seconds to fill in the entire inventory of jugs, bank, then go back to the water pump. Now what makes this method profitable is that you can sell the jugs of water in the Grand Exchange for around 29 GP each. Sometimes you can sell them for a little bit more depending on the demand. And as the jugs are worth only 3 GP each, you'll be making around 26 GP profit each jug of water. Now you can add grapes in the jugs of water to make jugs of wine. And you only need 35 cooking to do this. And you gain 200 XP per wine. But you will lose around 70 GP each wine made as they only sell for 1 GP each in the Grand Exchange. So I wouldn't do that unless you want super fast cooking XP and if you're going for 99. Now you can make more profit by adding Zamorak grapes to the jugs of water to make wine of Zamorak. And you make around 70 GP profit per wine made. And I'm not sure if the grapes buy for medium price in the Grand Exchange. So that would be something you'll need to test out for yourself. You can either buy the jugs at the Grand Exchange for 3 GP each. Or you could buy them from general stores such as the wine shop in Draenor Village which only sell for 1 GP. You can also feed the stalls in Draenor Village as well. And if you've completed the quest Prince Ali Rescue, you can get free jugs of water from Hassan in Al Qarid. Jugs can also be found in the basement of Lumbridge Castle, Crafting Guild, Cook's Guild on the top floor and other kitchens around RuneScape. So this will help for Iron Men as well. Now you can only fill jugs at sinks, fountains and water pumps. And you can also use the Humidify spell which is on the Lunar Spellbook. So there is multiple ways to fill up jugs with water. Now, as usual, there are some tips and tricks that will help you do this method efficiently, and this will help you make the most amount of GP per hour. So the first tip is very simple, but effective. All you've got to do is keep your camera angle at a distance. Now, the reason being is simply for less clicks. Doing this method, I only click once to the water pump and once to the bank. So if you copy the camera angle like I have, then this will make the method just that little bit more AFK. And like I said, simple, but effective. Now the last tip is to buy more jugs because as I was doing this method I had at least 10 minutes left to spare and I ran out of jugs so I had to run to the Granite Exchange to buy a few hundred more jugs. I know the wiki says 2,800 within the hour but definitely bring at least 3,000 to 3,100 if you want to test this out for an hour for yourself. Okay, so I'm almost at the hour mark now and normally I would give a downside to this method but believe it or not, I can't really think of one just because it's a great money maker especially for new players starting with zero GP and as I mentioned at the start, it's an underrated money maker. 
Okay, so that is the end of the hour now, guys. So let's price check all the jugs that I have filled with water and see how much profit I have made. Okay, so here is all the jugs of water that I have filled within the hour and I managed to fill 3,100, which is nice. So let's price check this and I've made 89k and 900 GP. That is really, really good. Now let's minus the supplies which I used and that was 3,100 jugs, which is only 9.3k. So my total profit comes to 80k and 600 GP profit, which is really good. Now let's go back to the Orosaurus wiki and it mentions you can make 72.8k GP profit per hour, making 2,800 jugs of water. And I have made an extra 300 just because I had more time spare. So a very accurate money maker and a profitable one as well with hardly any effort whatsoever. Now these money makers are really underrated as people don't really try them out and people may think the GP per hour is really bad. But as you have seen on this video and my most recent videos, you can make a nice amount of profit spending minimal in supplies and requiring no effort whatsoever, especially with this money maker. So that is the end of the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one, if you did smash that like button, comment below and let me know what you think about this money maker and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new for more old school RuneScape money making videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.